Welcome to Paradise TV. I'm Carly Wegner. Bill is on assignment tonight. We are here at the Six Mile Cypress Slough. It is 2,500 acres of wetland here in Southwest Florida. We're surrounded by wildlife and native plants. I can only imagine that this is what Southwest Florida looked like hundreds of years ago. We're going to give you a tour a little bit later. Let's go ahead and get things started tonight. In tonight's show, we've got the luck of the Irish on our side, making shepherd's pie and fiery cocktails. We learn how to pair food with gourmet beers, make some beautiful music, island style, and a try-on tropical take-home souvenir. Local singer and sweetheart Casey Weston has already conquered the national stage. She was one of the finalists on The Voice and she had a very successful debut album. Now she has returned to Paradise, her home, to launch her second album. Paradise TV was there for her launch party. At 20 years old, singer-songwriter Casey Weston is keeping a very busy but very exciting schedule. Casey is currently living in Nashville, but she wanted to come back home to release her second album, Find the Moon. This is definitely full circle. Just driving in my dad's old truck back here, I just was like, I can't believe that I'm, I'm going to be coming back here but with a brand new album and living in Nashville and having experienced all I experienced and then coming back to the place where it kind of started. It's just a surreal moment. It was just a couple years ago Casey started singing in local coffee shops. I went to every open mic night that I possibly could just to try to see if someone would listen to one of my original songs and if, you know, people like to hear me sing. And then I just kept playing and playing and playing and then I eventually started doing my own nights here at South Street. And from South Street it was on to Hollywood where Casey was a finalist on the first season of The Voice. But for Casey, it's not about the fame, it's about her music. I never want to be famous. I just want to be respected and loved for the art that I do and have a successful career in what I love. Speaking of love, that's a lot of what this new album is about. Not only are the songs personal, so is the album title, Find the Moon. But the moon is such a constant thing. And it's kind of like for me, sometimes in my career, there's dark times where, you know, the moon is gone and then it comes right back and there's a light. And so it's kind of a light at the end of the tunnel and just something that I can always look for and it'll always be this constant thing. And in Casey's search to find the moon, she's also working hard to land a Grammy. I just want to win a Grammy so badly and that's what I have up on my mirror. You know, there's like those things that they say you put up and like you read them every day. I just have a picture of a Grammy on my mirror and I'm just like, I want to get that, I want to get that. And by the looks and sounds of it, we think she's well on her way. By the way, you can get Casey Weston's new CD, Find the Moon, on iTunes right now. Meanwhile, another local singer is making national headlines. We have an update on American Idol contestant Lazaro Arbos. The Florida phenom, as American Idol affectionately calls him, has made it into the top ten. Last week's performance of Feeling Good was the first chance America got to voice their opinions with the ability to vote for the contestants. And let's hope Lazaro can do it again tonight. Be sure to watch and vote for Southwest Florida native Lazaro Arbos tonight, right after Paradise TV. Step Aside Sundance, Cannes, and Toronto, the third annual Fort Myers Film Festival, is preparing to premiere. Paparazzi are already warming up their cameras. The festival will kick off with the red carpet rolling out next week, March 21st, for the opening night, Black Tie Gala at the Barbara V. Mann Performing Arts Hall. The Fort Myers Film Festival is known for world-class swagger and support of local filmmakers. These are uh, raw nuggets of very passionate, independent filmmakers from around the world. Uh, and this program is a program that I've put up against any film festival in the world at this point. The festival runs March 21st through the 24th with film showing at several venues throughout Fort Myers. For more on this or anything you've seen on Paradise TV, log on to our website, fox4now.com paradise.
Pieces of history have sailed into paradise. Replicas of Christopher Columbus's The Pinta and the Nina are docked in Naples. The Nina was built completely by hand and without the use of any power tools, and it's been called the most historically correct Columbus replica ever built. The Pinta was recently built in Brazil. There were no plans of the ships, and neither one of these ships were built with any drawings. We dove on shipwrecks in the Bahamas, uh, mapped them with marine archaeologists. I can't believe they slept on the deck in the rough waters. It's tough sleeping when the waves are cracking over your head, wouldn't it? While in port, the general public is invited to visit the ships for self-guided tours. The ships will depart next week on Tuesday, March 19th. Coming up a little later on Paradise TV, I make beautiful music in Paradise, taking a stab at the steel drums. Leafin' Leprechauns. We're celebrating St. Patty's Day with a stick to your ribs favorite. But first, here are your pictures in Paradise.